It's Vandal time. As any YouTuber who is currently falling off, I found it very hard today what video to make. So I hopped on one of the worst platforms to search for mods ever made, the Steam Workshop, and I got a couple mods. But because Steam is so fucking bad, most of those mods don't show up in my mods list, except this one and Hearts of Minecraft. So if the next video is me playing Hearts of Minecraft, don't get too surprised. Anyway, the Vandals are a Germanic people, I think. Let me check real quick. Yes, that's right. Anyway, 1600 years ago when Rome fell, this Germanic tribe took over Carthage and the north of Africa for like 25 seconds. And then we never heard of them again, but this mod brings them back and a fucking lot of them. So we have 41 million core population, only 14 fucking factories though, and a new country of course. We got a pretty good queen and a very tiny focus tree. It's not that deep, but I think it would be fun. This is one version of the focus tree you can choose at the beginning of the game between two focus trees. I don't know what the difference between them is, but they look different. So without further ado, let's secure the state treasury. A seven day focus in this already tiny focus tree. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. It's that time of the day again. The time to subscribe to the channel. Because I'm trying to reach 50k until the end of this year. So I would really appreciate your subscribe. Also, I have a Patreon which is in the description of this video and any other video. Which you can join for the low low price of $1. Thanks for listening to me and back to the video. Oh no! Text. You can read this if you want. Now, this is the political part of the focus tree. And we have 6 choices. To stay monarchist, to go fascist, some other flavor of monarchy, some other flavor of fascist, communist or democratic. And by doing those you also unlock focuses exclusive to the path. And for today I actually wanted to go with this path, but I'm sure that having this word central to the video is gonna get me fucking banned. So we're gonna remain with the queen, I think. Oh shit, this is a good chunk of a focus tree now. Okay, I like where this is going. Let's do another 7 day focus. And another one. What the fuck, I need to hire an industrial concern for those two focuses? The Ottoman Railway. How do I do that? The Dead Council? We have fucking dead? Nah, we're screwed. This country is doomed. Okay, here it is, but I need to get rid of the death. Okay, so I could either renounce it and upset everybody, or I can pay it out by going on free trade. Okay, let's do that shit. I can change it later anyway. I have a shitload of steel. Thanks to the developer for looking after me. Don't want to repeat the Honduras experience from last video. What the hell is this monstrosity? A silent workhorse prince of terror and gives me all the goddamn buff? Why did you do this? Why did you have to do this? What the fuck? We got the Ramadan and a factory output debuff. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic. It would be nice to have this kind of things in the game. Like getting 25% consumer goods for Christmas or shit like that. Germany is looking like going democratic, which is worrying me a little bit. The UK is going with the king. Japan is finally historical. And we got Gojam, the greatest nation of them all. Oh, look, the Ramadan is over. <laughs> and we get a buff for three entire days. Okay, nice. Oh my fucking god. This shit is just like the Romanian king mechanics. I fucking hate those. Why the fuck is Romania still democratic? Oh no, my eyes hurt. I opened this focus tree. Big mistake. Holy shit, this is a pretty big fleet. Where the fuck do we got all of this from? Weren't we in debt? How did we build all of this with only one dockyard? Yeah, that's right, I'm asking the real questions on this channel. Where did the navy come from and where is my grilled cheese? I'm still waiting for it. Alright, I finished most of my industrial and political tree, I guess. You can call it that. I don't know why I can't do this focus, I don't know what that nation spirit is supposed to be. And for this one, I need Turkey to control a bunch of shit, so I just finished this one. I'm gonna get a couple more army buffs and then we're off to conquer. I also got those decisions that literally just improve my relation with different countries. So let's do it with Gojam and see what happens. Oh, I think I can just invite them to the faction. 
Too bad that I don't have a faction yet and I can't create one. Oh my fucking god, Green Poland again. Well, I, I need to be grateful actually, I haven't seen Green Poland in a while. But you know, the fact that it's still in the game, it's very upsetting. Well, this is nice, I just bullied Spain into giving me North Africa, also Cordet. I think I should have taken those two states as well, but who am I to keep yapping like that? Let's get global hegemony. Oh, wait, what the fuck? I'm at war with Spain. I didn't even see that. Oh, okay, so I, I can take this shit over, I guess. Nice. Vandalism wet dream, okay. That's a very strange thing to say. Right now, I'm gonna demand that Italy goes fuck itself. We're gonna see what comes out of that. I can also wage chemical warfare, which is fucking devastating for the poor country that I'm gonna fight later. I need to get this focus first, for which I need engineer company too. And here it is. Oh shit, the pussies actually folded. Uh, okay, I got the Dodecanines and those two states. I don't know if this is good or bad, but I just started building a supply up here. <laughs> so this might not really be that optimal, you know. Okay, there is something very weird here. If I do the Greek question, it says here that the Greeks will get the event Vandals Demand Corsica. If I do it to Turkey, the Vandals Demand Corsica. If I pillage the Balkans, the Vandals Demand Corsica. So let's demand Corsica from France this time and see what happens. And I got it, nice. Okay, well, let's demand Corsica from Portugal now. It seems like demanding Corsica from Portugal made them uh, <laughs> my puppet. So let's demand Corsica from Greece now. It seems like my uh, puppet Portugal got into some trouble. They're at war with themselves and Spain. So uh, let's go ahead and help our precious little puppet. And this way I think they will be able to form Iberia, maybe. Oh, they are non-aligned. I don't think they will. Anyway, it's better to have a bigger puppet than a smaller puppet. It's logical. Okay, now that we have a really strong Portugal, I think we can go kill France. Because we have a war goal on Yugoslavia, because they refused me when I wanted to pillage the Balkans. So I can just declare war on Yugoslavia and get France. They still have the disjointed government thing, it's only 1939 anyway. So I think it would be pretty easy to kill them, maybe. Probably, I think. Oh, this is nice. I core Gibraltar, but I don't core the Spanish Sahara or Tripolitania. That's weird. I don't know what magic I worked in the Middle East, but France and the UK just surrendered all this territory to Turkey. I think I am unintentionally doing a Ottoman Empire video by mistake. I think I can actually revive the empire by doing this or annex them, I don't really know. Oh, Turkey is my puppet, by the way. They agreed to be my bitch. So, uh, yeah. Well, nothing happened. It says here that Turkey will get an event and I think they probably did not accept to form the Ottoman Empire because I think that's what this is. Ah, well, unlucky. Italy just declared war on Yugoslavia. What the fuck, my game froze. Okay, so one crash and the game refusing to update later. We are back. As I said... Italy just declared war on Yugoslavia, which is a pretty bad idea when you fucking suck. I am still missing a couple pieces of equipment. The military factory building is kind of slow, but I do think this kind of is the perfect moment to attack. So let's declare war on Yugoslavia ourselves. We are also gonna fight the little Antan basically. And let's call Portugal in. There we go. Now, can we attack? Yep, I see a lot of green bubbles. Wonderful. France should be down in no time. Ah, yeah, of course. France joined the Commonwealth of Nations, which is pretty much all the British puppets, the USA and the UK. Fucking hell. I'm now getting invaded in uh, Morocco and soon enough from Libya. France is all mine. The little Entente is at war with the entire pact of Rome now. I'm gonna trust them that they will clean all this shit up so I don't need to worry about it. And I will just garrison all of France and Portugal now. Oh shit, I don't have enough divisions. That's bad. But I got a lot of factories from France, which is good. And now we just have to build a giant fleet. We need to capitulate the UK, Canada and the US. So that's gonna take a while. Um, something very weird is happening. Oh, no, <laughs> I'm just stupid, I realized. I was about to say that my manpower is draining, like this. Around 1k a tick, but uh, it's going into garrison because I'm on civilian oversight. Let me fix that with some secret police. I was actually worried, I thought the game broke. Anyway, I'm just about to finish a supply up here in the desert. And I'm gonna encircle this port. Everybody knows how it goes after that. I'm waiting for Italy to lose all of Libya. Which 
is happening really slow. Oh, that's right, I can also do this, I forgot about this. Anyway, the plan next is to push the allies out of Egypt, because it's rightful vandal territory, after all. Holy Jesus, this is a fucking twist if I ever seen one. How the fuck did they spawn? They are actually at war. They got no divisions though. I would send some of mine there, but I don't think uh, it would matter at all. Let's get an agency though, so I can start doing some collaboration governments on the US. Are you fucking kidding me? The fucking Italians that did absolutely nothing so far, except killing a couple miners. Naval invaded my goddamn port. Things like this remind me why the fuck I hate this game so much. The confederate states are almost dead by the way. And the UK refuses to kill this encirclement. Also, Germany is in the war, I think. Yeah, they are at war with both the Soviets and the British faction. Oh my fucking god, this shit is absurd. So Germany formed Austria-Hungary through the focus. They didn't got it in their faction, they remained in the Pact of Rome. The same faction Italy is in. And for some reason, when Austria-Hungary formed, they were at war with me. I don't know why, I don't know how. I wasn't at war with either... Austria or Hungary before, but they called in fucking Italy, so now at least I can get my port back, I guess. I started preparing a naval invasion, the channel is very sparsely protected, I don't know where all the British ships are, but not on the channel. And I have a pretty big fleet, I'm pretty confident that I can take them. But going to the USA it's still gonna be a chore. What the fuck is going on? Germany just declared war on me. Just like that. And Japan. <laughs> I am literally at war with every single major power except the Soviets. I think it might be because of this. I do feel like this might be the cause, but I don't really know. I'm gonna try one thing. I'm gonna move my army to the German border and try to capitulate them really fast because they are the only major. And when my troops are on position now, and now I'm gonna hit this, which is gonna give every single country that I'm at war with this nasty debuff for 60 days. So this might be enough for me to capitulate Germany. If I'm not gonna be able to do this, the video will end because I'm not fighting all that shit fair and square. I learned my lesson. It's not worth it. I also just landed in uh, the UK. So I might pull out the ultimate victory. I think the 60 days are almost over though. It doesn't see here how long it has left, but I think it has around uh, 30 days maybe? I don't know. Well, Britain is falling very easy, as always. They are at 83%. Germany is only at 31, but they still have the spirit. And I cleared all of North Africa. I decided to stop right here. I don't want to push further. I actually don't understand what the fuck this guy is doing, but he actually pushed all over the Sahel. You know what? I'm just gonna let him go. That's a man with a mission. In the meantime, the fucking Polish became a major. So now I have to capitulate them as well. <laughs> US went communist and the Austrians and Italians are almost down I guess I think I just hope I'm not gonna get naval invaded now because I have no garrisons I am using the entire army to push through Germany I think I can actually yeah I can train more divisions actually a lot more divisions okay that's gonna set us up for the future there goes Germany it was a little bit of struggle not gonna lie and now there is just Poland to take care of. Judging by the fact that they are kind of busy in the east, I don't think they will put much of a resistance, you know? Look at this Chilean Empire Bulgaria here. How the fuck did they manage to take all of this like that? God fucking damn it. Okay, now I think I need to actually declare war on uh, Denmark so I can island hop to North America because I don't think I have range for anything else. Well, this is what you get when you declare war on the Vandal Kingdom journey. Germany, fuck you. Okay, the Soviets are gonna get quite a bit of territory because they helped me a lot. Something like this should suffice. And I am just gonna annex anything else. Okay, two factions down. Two more to go. Let's justify on uh, Denmark now. They are in a faction with Finland, which is at war with Sweden, okay. Got a bunch of planes. And I don't really have that much manpower left. Because of all of those garrisons, I think. But it's fine, I have compliance buffs. Uh, actually, they are not that good. I am using... 600k people for garrison, that's not pretty good. Ah, uh, it's fine, there is only the USA left. And... <laughs> Canada. 
Uh, what the fuck? My Italian puppet stole my Portuguese puppet there. What the fuck? The betrayal. This will not be forgiven. And we touched Canadian soil. I'm gonna bring my entire army here. This should be enough. The US only has 130 troops or something like that. Some of them are in Africa, so uh, it's a long way. Let's make the Navy protect the convoys. And just go ham, boys. We are about to finish the second collaboration government. In in 50 days so this shouldn't take long why the fuck am i at war with ching china why is every single faction declaring war on me what did i do i only broke one little geneva convention do i really deserve this for such a little crime the number of major powers keeps going up and up and up and i don't like this shit i need to capitulate fucking australia now which is all the way out of the map over here i literally need to island hop from fucking africa i hate this i hate this so much i hate this so much i also have no goddamn supply in america so i can't really push that good no, fuck this shit, man, I hate this game, fuck this shit, I annexed Italy and Portugal just became free, and joined the Soviet faction, and I wanted to have all of Europe, so now I have to declare war on the Soviets, and above all that, now I have undeletable divisions, because of course I do, oh, there goes the US, I should stop playing this game i think this was enough over 100 videos i should retire as soon as possible brazil just became a major of course one more naval invasion just just one more naval invasion just one more one more and we're done one more and two more two more and we're done what no i'm not going fucking insane i'm having fun look at me how cheery i am the most fun i ever had okay that was brazil who the fuck is gonna be the next major power we only have south africa and new zealand left do i really need to defeat every single member of this faction because at this point i'm gonna fucking do it my only regret is that i did not research nukes because i would have turned every single one of those countries into a nuclear wasteland but by this point and i am finally free finally i can rest now i'm not gonna kill the soviets it's too much even for me so i wish to thank everybody for watching this video for this long i hope you liked it i sure know i did not the mod is pretty interesting though you might want to give it a try is in the description as always so yeah it's time to thank the patreons Flossy, Tomilia1, Arctic CJ, Devante, Thunder, Grongwegs, Windows Mistake Edition, Gabe's Licor, Jack M, Eric Amenerheim, Neil Class, K64, Dante Mantis, and Yuki. Thank you guys again for supporting me every single month. And until next time, don't forget, Portugal is a fucking backstabber. And I will not forget this betrayal.